All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Vonix. Uh, today, I'm happy to bring you guys a world's first gameplay. It's the first DNA bomb with AA4. Before I get into the gameplay, though, I do want to go over the class setup real quick. Uh, like you guys can see, I'm using the AE4 with the heat sink, the stock, and the grip. I might actually switch out the grip for the red dot just because I hate the iron sights on it. Um, I actually ran hardline in this game instead of toughness and uh, lightweight and low profile. And it's funny because I actually die right after I get the DNA bomb. So I guess hardline saved me. And if I didn't have hardline, I probably would have died on a 29. So yeah, that's kind of cool that actually it was kind of an accident to run hardline. I was trying it out because if you guys didn't know, uh, I'm still on the 360. And we actually, at the same time we got the patch to get the gun, we actually got the patch where they uh, raised the score limit to 100 points instead of 50 in Domination. And as any of you guys know that watch my videos regularly, I play Domination all the time. Domination is my game mode. That's my favorite go-to game mode. So this was actually my third game on. I jump in a game on Biolab, and this is probably one of my most comfortable maps. So I was like, yo, let's go. And there was a couple guys that were trying a little bit in the first round. And I died off a couple streaks right in the beginning. And uh, they ended up, I called in like one system hack, and they ended up leaving. So that was kind of cool that they ended up leaving the game. It actually gave me a free lobby, basically. But the negative aspect of that was there was only playing like three or four people for most of the game. So, you know, it wasn't the fastest DNA. But, uh, you know, it it is the first one out on YouTube right now. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I do want to talk about a couple opinions on of uh, mine on DLC and about this gun especially. Um, I think it is kind of cool that they're rewarding the season pass holders with an extra gun early. Um, hopefully they continue to do this. It's kind of like what they did with the Ripper in, in Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean the gun's okay. It's not great. I would definitely say like the BAL is better. The AK-12 is better. I might even say like the uh, ASM-1 is a better gun. It's a lot like the EM-1 in the fact that um, it can overheat, so you don't need scavenger. It has no ammo, so you don't need to run scavenger. And um, one thing I don't like about it is iron sights. I feel like the iron sights are really weird, really wonky, so I kind of like to run a red dot sight, but at the same time, it's nice to have, you know, it's, it's better to just get used to a gun's iron sights than have to waste an attachment on a red dot sight. Plus, I heard that if you use a red dot sight, your gun actually gets more view kick, but I don't know how true that is. But anyway, back to, I don't want to go off on a tangent here, um, back to the DLC topic. Uh, I think that's really great that Sledgehammer's doing this. Hopefully, um, for once, they actually give us four DLC weapons for each DLC pack. I highly doubt it, but it's, you know, I can always hope. Because ever since Black Ops 2, they gave us one, and then Ghost, they gave us two. You know, chances are they're probably going to give us two or three. Uh, hopefully this isn't the only DLC weapon, but it really opens the possibilities to what you can do with DLC. I mean, I'm sure they could do DLC killstreaks, they could do DLC, you know, obviously maps, DLC weapons, but they could also do, like, DLC perks, DLC killstreaks, stuff like that. Something, that's what I want to see from Sledgehammer, is them add something new. I feel like that would really step their game up and show the bigger companies like Treyarch and uh, Infinity Ward that they're, like, you know, here to stay and they can do things that people like. Um, and I think they've done a lot of things right so far. So, one of the things that I'd like to really see is a couple more DLC assault rifles. Um, preferably ones that shoot bullets, not ones that shoot lasers. I'm not really a big fan of the, uh, laser guns. But, you know, this, this weapon's kind of cool. Like I said, I have mixed feelings on it. Like, the part of me likes it, but then the part of me doesn't like it. Um, it reminds me kind of like the SMR or like the FAL from Black Ops 2, where it's like, it has a really slow rate of fire. And if you're accurate with your shots you're gonna drop people pretty fast but the problem is if you miss like one or two shots you're just gonna get melted because the fire rate is so slow and actually that's one thing I hate about the point score being raised from 50 to 100 is so many people calling system hacks and it's actually really annoying and I know I'm doing it myself here so I'm kinda of being a hypocrite by saying that but it is really annoying and it almost makes me want to run hardwired just to like counter it but from, apparently they're gonna be nerfing the system hack that's what I heard anyway so we'll see what they actually do to it here but, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys, get this gameplay out here real quick. And, you know, I believe at the time I'm making this, I did ask some people on Twitter. I said, has anyone gotten this yet? Because I, got, uh, I got a DNA with AE4 and no one, you know, no one said anything. And from everybody I looked at, everybody was saying they were still trying to grind to get it. So, from what I know, this is the world's first AE4 DNA bomb. So, you guys should show some love on this video just because of that. So, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry that it's not the fastest. And watch right here. I, 
or not right here, but right at the end, right when I get the DNA bomb, I'm really lucky that I had hardline on, like I said, because I get pinched by two guys. There was literally nothing I could do. I was dying. You know, there was nothing I could do about it. I was going to die. Um, so, yeah, drop a like just for that, just for getting that clutch DNA bomb. But, all right, guys, I'm out. Have a great day. Peace.